Good morning nursery. Today I'd like to read you another one of my favourite winter stories. It's from my favourite, one of my favourite books, A Year in Percy's Park. And the title of the story is One Snowy Night. It's cold in the park in winter, but Percy the park keeper, he doesn't mind. He puts on his warm coat and his big scarf and two pairs of woolly socks inside his Wellington boots. Percy likes to be outside in the fresh air. In the middle of the park, there is a little hut. This is where Percy lives. When it gets too cold to be outside, he goes inside to keep cosy and warm. The animals who live in the park all like to visit Percy's hut. They like to share his lunch with him. One winter's night, it was so cold, it began to snow. Great big snowflakes fell past Percy's window. Boom, said Percy. I think I'll need an extra blanket tonight. He made him some hot, himself some hot cocoa and got ready for bed. Suddenly, Percy heard a tapping sound. There's somebody at the door. Now who can that be at this time of night? Thought Percy. He went to the door and looked out. There on the step was a squirrel. It looked very cold and miserable. I can't get to sleep, Percy, said the squirrel. My bed is full of snow. Oh dear, said Percy. Never mind, there's plenty room in my bed for two. The squirrel snuggled down next to Percy and soon began to feel warm. It was the door again. Now who can that be, thought Percy. Standing outside were two shivering rabbits. It's for, for, for freezing, said one rabbit. Where for, for frozen, said the other. Oh, you poor thing, said Percy. Come in and keep warm. The rabbit squeezed into bed next to Percy and the squirrel. There wasn't much room. Could you face the other way, Percy, asked the, squ asked the squirrel. Your tail is tickling my nose. Oh dear, said Percy. Now there's somebody else at the door. It was a fox. He looked very cold and hungry. Can I come in too? He asked. Percy scratched his head. Mm. And he thought for a minute. Well, if you promise to behave, said Percy. I promise, said the fox. And he squeezed into bed next to all the other animals. Bump! Oops! The squirrel fell out. Who did that? He said crossly. Mm, I wonder who pushed the squirrel out of bed. Good gracious, said Percy. It's the door again. This time Percy had quite a surprise. There on the door was a, on the doorstep was a badger, two ducks and a whole family of mice. They all wanted a bed for the night. Do you think they're going to fit into Percy's bed? Poor old Percy and poor old Percy's bed. The animals pushed and they shoved and they rolled around the bed, but there was not enough room for all of them. Soon the bed covers ended up in a big tight ball. Then, bump, the covers rolled off the bed and everybody fell onto the floor. Oh dear, said Percy, this just won't do. My bed's not big enough for all of us. Suddenly, one of the mice pricked up his ear. He could hear something. What's that noise? He squeaked. Everyone listened. Now they could all hear it. It was a scratching and a scraping sound and it seemed to be coming from underneath them. There's something moving underneath the floor, whispered Percy. The animals looked frightened 
and the mice all started to squeak at once. Oh dear, what can it be? It might be a monster with fierce claws and sharp teeth. The noise grew louder and louder and louder. And then one of the floorboards began to move. Look out, it's coming up through the floor. Suddenly there was a loud creak. Help, cried the animals and they all ran to hide. But Percy wasn't frightened. He started to chuckle. <laughs> then he laughed out loud. <laughs> a small dark head came up from under the floorboards. This isn't a monster, said Percy. It's a mole. I'm sorry to burst in like this, he said. I knocked on the door, but nobody heard me. Percy helped the mole up through the hall and sat him on his hot water bottle to get warm. He put the floorboard back and then said, It's all right, everyone. You can come out now. But nobody moved. Nobody stirred. Nobody wanted to come out. The squirrel was tucked away in the pocket of Percy's dressing gown. The hedgehog was in his coat. The fox, the rabbits, the badger and the ducks were all safely hidden away. The mice had even squeezed themselves into a pair of Percy's slippers. Everyone had found a cosy bed. Well, I never, said Percy. Percy yawned, oh, and snuggled down in his bed once again. That's better, he said. Now I've got plenty of room and just a little to spare for a meal. I enjoyed reading that story. I hope you enjoyed it too. See you again soon. Bye for now. Bye.